Hello and welcome everyone to the in-depth series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pragya and in today's interesting episode of this in-depth series, we are going to discuss a topic that is important from the point of view of Indian agriculture. It is a part of our daily household lives. The title of our today's discussion is issue of GM mustard. In this discussion, we will firstly study about what is the mustard hybrid DMH11. Then we are also going to analyze how was hybridization achieved in the crop of mustard? Then we are also going to see why is the Supreme Court examining the matter of GM crops? And lastly, we will see a practice question for your preliminary examination. So, if I talk about the background of our today's topic, this GM mustard had received environmental clearance in the year 2022. So, finally, in the year 2022, the government said that yes, now the GM mustard seed is ready for commercial cultivation. However, this trial has been stayed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India because a PIL has been filed in the Supreme Court stating about the environmental and human health damages caused by the GM mustard. However, the central government is arguing on the point of economic and the food security. The Supreme Court in the present case has reserved its judgment. So, this brings us to the important point of our today's discussion that what is the hybrid mustard variety DMH11? So, the transgenic mustard hybrid DMH11 has been developed by the Center for Genetic Manipulation of Crop Plants, CGMCP at Delhi University. DMH11 or the Dhara mustard hybrid variety 11 is a result of a cross between Indian mustard variety Varuna and East European early Hira 2 mustard. Moving forward. GM mustard is the first genetically modified food crop permitted for commercial release. Thus, it requires attention towards environmental agriculture and public health. And this is being argued by the petitioners in the current case before the Supreme Court that yes, it is bad for human health, it is bad for Indian agriculture and it is also bad for environment and that is why you should not permit it. Okay. Activists dispute the ability of the GM mustard to increase yield, question biosafety data and claim that it will harm human and soil health, cause environmental damage and threaten the existence of other species like honeybees because honeybees use mustard seed for you know their food, they use it to make honey, they feed on the original mustard seeds which is not possible in any genetically modified seed. And this is being argued by the petitioners in the current case before the Supreme Court. Moving forward. The opposition to GM crops broadly rests on the principle of precautionary principle, which argues that in the absence of scientific consensus and adequate information, New innovations likely to have severe adverse impacts on human or environmental health must be treated with extreme caution. However, the scientists say that this principle is not true. They often contradict this principle. They say that the Bt cotton, Bt cotton also faced a similar you know, fate when it was introduced. They say that the grave apprehensions at the time of Bt cotton did not come true. In fact, it is being cultivated since last 20 years in India. Okay. They also argue that the GM mustard has been cultivated in various countries since last three decades. Okay. More than 25 countries, including USA, Canada, Bangladesh, Myanmar, etc., are you know cultivating the GM mustard seeds for commercial cultivation and none of the apprehensions that have been alleged by the petitioners or any of the activists have come true. So, they are saying that India is the largest exporter of mustard seeds and that is why we have already consumed this seeds and no environmental impact or adverse health impact has been observed and that is why they contradict this precautionary principle that it is against scientific progression. It is just a tool for, you know, inaction and it stops any kind of scientific progression that is required to India to make itself self-sufficient. 
So these are the arguments that have been put forward in favor of GM mustard seeds by the scientists. Moving forward, let us analyze that how exactly was this hybridization achieved in the seeds of mustard or the mustard crop. Okay. So, hybridization involves crossing two genetically dissimilar plant varieties that can even be from the same species. Okay. So, the first generation F1 offsprings from such crosses tend to have higher yields than what either parent can individually give. And if you talk about the mustard seeds, mustard seeds, okay. So, they are generally self-pollinating in nature. Self-pollinating self because they have both female and male reproductive organs. Female and male reproductive organs. And that is why hybridization of mustard seed was not an easy task. Now you will ask me ma'am then how was it achieved? So basically hybridization in mustard crop was achieved because DMH11 contains two alien genes, Barnes and Barstar. And this uh, system of Barnes and Barstar is also being questioned in the case before the Supreme Court. Barnes and Varuna induces a temporarily sterility because of which it can't naturally self-pollinate. As I have explained that mustard seeds are self-pollinating in nature because they bo have both male and female organs. Okay. Barstar in Hira blocks the effect of Barnes allowing seeds to be produced and that is why they have such high yields. In fact, they can produce 28% more yield. than the national average. In fact, mustard seeds in India are used for cooking, are used as spices, are even used as fodder, but they suffer from low yields. They suffer from various diseases, various pest attacks and that is why the Indian government decided that yes, we need to act on the situation and we need to produce our indigenous mustard seeds and that is why they allowed this hybrid variety to be uh, cultivated to be produced, okay, to be made so that they can solve the problem of the low yielding mustard seeds in India. Moving forward, now let us analyze why is the Supreme Court examining the matter of GM crops. So, basic idea I have given that yes, the environmental activists that is the petitioner in this case that is the coalition, coalition for GM free crops is arguing that various environmental standards have been bypassed and it is not good for our human consumption and it is not good, definitely not good for the environment, okay. So, the top court is hearing separate pleas by an activist and an NGO for a moratorium on the release of any genetically modified organisms. GMOs into the environment and as of now the commercial cultivation of this GM mustard has been stayed by the Supreme Court. Okay, So, even after it has received the environmental clearance in the year 2022, the Supreme Court ex uh, asking the center to uh, state that why the observations of the technical committee constituted by the Supreme Court were not taken into picture before granting this environmental uh, clearance. Okay, the central government is arguing that okay, the activists and the environmentalists must be right. But we have ample proof that during the BT cotton also that it was safe for human consumption. In fact, GM crops are safe for human consumption, and it is a duty of the government to provide right to food in India. Right to food. In India, it is also arguing that India is the largest importer of the mustard oil, okay, mustard seeds, edible oil and that is why the center is also arguing upon the economic aspects that yes, if we want to feed our population, definitely we need to reduce our imports. In fact, the center, the central government is also saying that 
after GM mustard because there were other crops as well. There was BT, brinjal and there were maize, rice etc. So, the central government has said no, we only want as of now the GM mustard to be cultivated. We are not pushing for any other you know genetically modified crop. They are just pushing for the GM mustard commercial cultivation due to the economic reason and the food security reason. Okay. And if the Supreme Court allows GM mustard to go through, it will likely pave the way for the release of other HT crops such as cotton, rice and maize. But the uh, central government is saying that no, it is not going to happen because the BT brinjal was also technically tested and it was also approved for the commercial cultivation. But it is not into picture, it was not approved after 2010. We have not seen a cultivation of the BT brinjal. So, basically the central government is arguing on the aspect of economic aspect and the food security aspect and it is saying that to make India self-sufficient, to reduce our imports, we need this GM mustard. We need to have this crop because we are largely dependent on imports for our edible oil requirements and that is the case, precisely the case in the front of the Supreme Court in which the Supreme Court has reserved its judgment. So, with this we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. We have seen what is genetically modified mustard that is the DMH11 or the Dhara mustard hybrid 11. We have seen how was actually the hybridization possible in the mustard seed. Okay. And we have also analyzed the issue between before the Supreme Court of India. Okay. And what the central government is arguing and the petitioners are arguing. So, central government has two main arguments, economic stability and food security and the petitioners are arguing that it is bad for the human consumption and environment. So, let us see what happens, what the Supreme Court decides about the future of the GM mustard. Now, let us see a practice question for your prelims examination. So, the question is, ball guard and ball guard 2 technologies are mentioned in the context of option A clonal propagation of crop plants, option B, developing genetically modified crop plants, option C, production of plant growth substances and option D, production of biofertilizers. Kindly drop your answer in the comment box below. I would also like to take this opportunity to inform you about our Republic Day discount that is from 20% to 50% discount. And it is available from 21 to 25th January on all online pen drive courses and test series. And to avail this discount, you can click on the link that is given in the description box. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you like the today's discussion and found it to be helpful, kindly like the channel and subscribe to it for more such interesting content. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.